uh, trigger warning very quickly. This video gets heated very quickly and um, I share a lot of my own opinions in this video and um, I rant a lot. So if you don't like that or you get triggered by that, I recommend you go watch one of my other videos. Thanks. Hey everyone, welcome back to Baby I Love 100. I'm Abby, and as you can see, this is not my real screen, normal screen, and this is not a joke either. Hasbro finally released some good baby lives. I am genuinely surprised. So this video is kind of going to be a little review on them and what I will think about them, um, in my opinions, obviously. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the brunette slash blonde. I'm not really sure what kind of hair this is. It's like dirty blonde, which I really like, honestly. Like we don't really, we either have blonde or brunette. So I'm really liking this mix here. Um, it reminds me of the pan, the breakfast baby. Yeah, her hair, her hair is kind of dirty blonde. So I'm loving this new uh, diversity between the dolls because you can see in the other one too, we have never really seen this type of skin tone or this type of hair before, which is really cool. So I'm really happy that Hasbro's going into different styles and not sticking with our regular uh, blonde, brunette, and African-American style. So the blonde has dirty blonde curly hair. Um, and by the picture I'm looking at here, uh, she has like a curl and a little top. Sort of like the blonde magical mixer, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Because these guys are reminding me a lot of magical mixers. Uh, she has like the little floof and she has really short curly hair. Her pajamas are adorable. They have little bunnies on them. And honestly, they look really small and poor quality. I'm just going to say that out loud. Because they look very thin. And they look like they are going to rip um, the second I put them on another doll. Um, but I might be wrong because I can't tell the texture here. It's kind of hard to tell. But I really like the designed the bunny on it that is so cute now accessory wise she has two diapers um a little bunny toy i think that is um it's really i think it's a i think it's a like stuffed animal which is really cute um a bottle which looks like the magical mixer bottle just recolored and the comb that is <laughs> is basically the fairy tale the blonde fairy tale doll that her comb just recolored um, which, honestly, I'm kind of sad about. I wish they would change the mold, but whatever. Um, and then we got some cute slippers, which are going to rip the second I put them on another doll. And a face mask, which is also easy to rip because it's literally held on by a ribbon. And a cute little bag. Honestly, I'm loving that bag, though, and the designs on it. And a little sleeping mat. Uh, whatever you want to call it, um... But I'm really liking her skin tone and her black hair looks identical to the blonde magical mixer. This one looks a lot more similar. Um, and she has, oh, she has different pajamas. I didn't even notice that. That's actually kind of cool. She has a different bunny, colored bunny on her pajamas. And she has the same accessories. So obviously, first we're, we're going to be talking about the doll here. Um, so the, the blonde one, I think, looks really nice. Um, she has nice hair. I've never seen this type of style before. And I really like her the color of her eyes. I think they're like olive green. Um, again, it's really hard to tell by a picture. But it's really cute. Now, I'm going to start getting into the Magical Mixer resemblance here. Because if you can't tell already, this is the Magical Mixer mold. Yep, uh, you heard me right. This is the Magical Mixer roll mold. And the way I can tell is by her face shape. As you can see, they have the same kind of chubby cheeks, I guess you could call it. And it's really hard <laughs> to say. It kind of has those puffed out cheeks. Um, which you don't really see with any other doll, and it has that same exact kind of oval-shaped head. I'm going to put a picture up right now of a magical mixer, my magical mixer, and you can tell they literally look exactly the same, the exact same mold. Now, am I okay with this? I think I am, honestly, because we got new hair, and we, well, for the most part, and we got new like kind of skin tones so i'm not like i wish they would have made a different mold 
but it looks fine, honestly. Now heading to the Hispanic one, mm, I'm seeing some blonde resemblance here, magical mixer blonde resemblance all the way. The hair, literally, it's the exact same hairstyle. Really? Hasbro, really? Can't you just put it in a bun and call it good? Do you really have to copy the hairstyle? I'm just saying, I mean, it's a really cute hairstyle and I love it, but I'm just saying like you could have literally removed the bangs or something, but I, I mean, I really like, it's really hard to be mad that they did this because the hairstyle looks so good and it's, it's just hard. Now let's move on to the accessories here. Um, I've obviously talked about my opinions a lot already with them, but first of all, the diapers are fine, I think. Two is probably good, one to put on and then one to change. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool and nice. Um, the cute toy, I think, is really nice. Um, the only thing is that they it's literally just two pieces of felt stuck together, sewn together. Um, not sure how I feel about that, honestly. I mean, I guess I have to, like, see the toy in real life to really, um, get my, like, my opinion about it. But from this picture, it looks okay. I mean, it looks pretty cute. I like the design. Um, so I feel like they didn't do a bad job with it, but really, did you have to stick two pieces of felt together? You could have at least, I mean, I get, I know... <laughs> I get it's an effort, but do you really, like, for the price, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, um, for this price, do you really have to give us this? Now, the bottles, um, they look awesome. The only thing, they're the Magical Mixer bottles, just recolored. Not sure how I feel about that either, um, because I really like the Magical Mixer bottles, again, um, and... They're just a really nice size, too, and a really nice plastic, soft plastic, um, but it also holds the liquids well. So um, they're using the Magical Mixer mold, so why wouldn't they use the bottle? Because it fits exactly in their mouth. So I guess we all saw that coming, honestly. Now the hair comb, uh, I, I'm not seeing a good outcome to this because it's literally... why they have to do this? Why? They, it's literally the baby live fairy tale babies comb like they literally just copied that whole cute aspect and they just like planted it into this doll i wish they honestly i mean i like the bunnies and the sleeve over theme but like do they really have to like use the same mold of comb like i would have been happy with just an og baby live comb but i mean i guess i like that it's a bunny and they're going along with the bunny theme, so I can't be mad at them, but at the same time, I want to be, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, um, for the slippers, um, I think they look cute. The only thing is that they look like they're made of paper, honestly. From these pictures, they look like they are going to rip the second the doll puts them on, um, and it looks like they're made of cheap felt. So, I'm not really sure be on the doll and their texture, obviously, but... <sighs> It's not looking very good, and it looks cheaply made, and I wish they would have made a, made them fluffy, because bunnies are fluffy, duh. The eye mask, I mean, it's cute, but it's not going to work out. It's not going to work. It's a clever idea, don't get me wrong. Hasbro's getting smarter and smarter, which is good, is good, but I just think it's only going to fit on this doll and not any others. Only on the Magical Mixer mold, because it was made for them. And it looks like the slipper material, um, the cheap felt, thin felt, and the ribbon is going to get shredded once it gets put on a doll with a bigger head. So, uh, honestly, I'm not liking this. I wish they would have made a, use, or used a thicker material for the ribbon back because that's going to rip the moment Someone puts, like, imagine a kid putting that on the doll's head. It's literally Snack and Lily outfit all over again. It's gonna rip. Um, I mean, obviously, 
<laughs> I could be wrong because I don't know the real material of this, but it looks like it's ribbon, it looks like it's thin, and it looks like it's going to rip the moment the child touches it. Now, the bag is a different story. Honestly, I like it. It's a nice, cute material on it. Sorry, pattern on it. The only thing, it's made out of the thin felt again. Well, it looks like it does. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, but it looks like it's thin, and it looks like not. it's not going to be able to hold a lot of stuff. Um, but there are a few pros to it. Honestly, it's um, a perfect bag for a baby life. It looks like it's going to fit in their hand, and it looks really adorable. But I just I just don't think it's going to be useful, honestly. It's, it's really cute. Honestly, I'm, I'm just probably just going to use it for props, which is obviously what it's made of. But I just don't get why they're, like, spending all their money on the doll, spending, like, all their time on the doll, changing, like, they're even using the same mold. They are changing the hair. They are changing the skin. They are changing. But they aren't doing anything about the accessories. They just keep making the accessories more like bad quality um versus if we move to the fairy tale fairy tale doll again those accessories are amazing i want to own that doll but it is so expensive and the eyes creep me out i'm sorry but that's a different video the accessories in there are so cool they're so interactive and very nice quality well i think so um but the only thing hasbro isn't they're not catching on to that so it's just a little confusing because they've done what we want, what, what I want anyway, but they're like, they keep going back to their old ways, which is not something I really like. Now, lastly, before I talk th about the color palette and the price, um, is the really cute sleeping mat. Honestly, this is the only thing they've done good. <laughs> it's like the only thing that um, I really like about this honestly the only thing it's huge it looks huge in the picture i mean it couldn't don't get me wrong it could be really small again this is a picture but it looks like it's gonna be way too big for the doll and i wish they honestly would have just given us a blanket i would have been happy with a cute soft purple blanket now the other thing is the box obviously this doll is gonna cost a lot more because it has a nice looking pretty box um do i agree with that and do i think it should be expensive because of the nice box no because they are using all their money to make the box look pretty for nice kids to buy it because it looks nice um i i probably sound like a hater right now <laughs> when i own 63 of these i've literally spent a thousand dollars on on their company and i'm shaming them right now i feel so bad um, but I feel like they shouldn't be spending so much time on the box when they should be spending more time on the flippant accessories and the quality because this, the flimsy bag is not going to last a second in the children's hands. I'm just saying if they want to make this better quality for kids, then stop focusing on the box that the, that the moms will throw away or the dads and start focusing on the toys. Hasbro, please. I don't want the box. I mean, it looks cool for a collector. You really could be focusing on more. I just don't agree with the. I just don't agree with the box, and I don't agree that we have we have to um spend more money on a doll because it has a nice looking box. Now the pricing. Um, the pricing in U.S. is forty five dollars. Do I agree with that? Absolutely not. This doll that has thin accessories and copied mis accessories not unique accessories we've seen most of these before um but i feel this is just way too overpriced for a box um but that is an exception also because this is an amazon exclusive so <laughs> they're basically crowding all the monies they make in multiple stores and like they're just slobbing in on amazon i hope that makes sense but basically like if they make a hundred dollars on dolls that are bought by multiple stores they are basically adding that sum up and they're just smacking it onto amazon and think that multiple people are going to buy a 45 dollar doll for their child with <laughs> six accessories well six accessories i don't know um six accessories and a special box 
I am just a little confused here, Hasbro. Um, but uh, I did have some people reach out to me um, and say that they think the price will change. Um, but I, I think it will be like a, two years before it changes. Um, because the Magical Mixer price actually went up. Or, yeah, it went up. I think it was around $15 for a for a magical mixer, it's up to twenty dollars in the U.S. and I I want to talk about that in another video where I think that um, obviously the pandemic pandemic why did I say that weird the basically the thing that's going around that obviously made their prices go up, but I just feel like really I just I just feel like if the price was lower, more people would buy it. I'm just going to say that, okay? Now, the last thing, the one, probably the one good thing I have to say about this is the color palette. They use a really nice color palette in this, and I wish they would have used more stuff like this because it's absolutely incredible. We've got purples, we've got pinks, we got oranges in some, we've got blues. It's just perfect. I, they really couldn't have done better with that, and they got a good designer. But they don't got good <laughs> factories. So, um, yeah, I really like the colors, honestly. They look really nice. The dark purples, the light purples, the pinks, the blues. It. I'm really glad with how that came out because it looks really nice and it looks really delicious, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't eat it, but, like, it looks really appealing. But, yeah, that was my little rant about um Hasbro's new doll comment down below what you think um honestly I think I'm gonna end up getting this doll because the color palette it's just so perfect um but obviously these are all from a reference picture and not from a real life version of this doll so um definitely my opinions will change once I get the doll uh but this is just what I think of the doll from the pictures so I hope you all like this video and I'm really sorry if I sounded mean Hasbro um just keep in mind I've spent a lot of money on your company and I have 63 of your baby lives so uh or 64 so uh yeah just to let you know that so please sponsor me thank you um and I hope you all have a great day